Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge vom Let's Play The Walking Dead. Ja, in der letzten Folge haben wir herausgefunden, dass in dieser Tür, die da hinten ist, und zwar hier, dass da angeblich nur Werkzeuge drin sein sollen. Da wir das aber nicht so ganz glauben, wollen wir jetzt mal rausfinden, was sich hinter dieser Tür verbirgt und müssen dazu jemanden ablenken, und zwar Andy. So, schauen wir mal, wie wir das hinkriegen. Erstmal sprechen wir mit ihm. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. Danny erwähnte, dass er etwas braucht. Ich denke, das ist die richtige Taktik, um ihn abzulenken. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, der ist schon mal weg. Fragt sich jetzt nur, wo wir den Schraubenzieher herbekommen. Sprechen wir nochmal mit Kenny. Okay, ja, ohne Schraubenzieher wird das auch nichts. I still can't get that lock off the door. Hm. You probably just need a screwdriver or something. Ja. Das denke ich wohl auch. Und wo bekommen wir den her? Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Okay. Wir sollten uns also erstmal darum kümmern, dass wir ein Schraubenzieher bekommen. Also hier war ja nichts, da hatten wir uns ja umgesehen. Dann gehen wir mal wieder raus. So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Okay, die beiden verstehen sich schon mal sehr gut. Immerhin etwas. Gucken wir noch mal hier. Vielleicht hat der Lilly einen Schraubenzieher. Hm, könnte ja sein. Na, geh hoch. Pavillon ansehen. Ja, können wir ja mal machen. Es ist halt ein Pavillon. Great. Doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. Ja. So, sprechen wir mal mit ihr. What's going on, Lee? Did something happen? Kenny glaubt, dass sie etwas verbergen. Kenny thinks they're hiding something. I'm not sure what exactly, but we're starting to get a feeling about this place. I don't know. Maybe we should go have a look in that barn. Whatever you do, just be careful. Langsam habe ich das Gefühl, dass sie etwas verbergen. After what Kenny told me. I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. Worüber hast du dich mit Kenny gestritten? What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Ja, das habe ich vor. So, stellt sich jetzt die Frage, wo wir den Schraubenzieher herbekommen. In der Werkzeugkiste vielleicht dort drüben. It's a small toolbox. Mhm, dann mach ihn mal auf. Ein Multitool, ja, geht auch. So, dann haben wir schon mal ein Werkzeug. Dann würde ich sagen, gehen wir mal wieder rein und versuchen irgendwas zu finden, womit wir den Kerl dort drin ablenken können. Sprechen wir zuerst noch mal mit Kenny. 
Ich habe ein Multitool gefunden. Andy kommt immer wieder zurück. Naja, bis jetzt nur einmal, aber okay. Ah, okay, wir sollen die Generatoren manipulieren. Dann machen wir das auch gleich mal direkt. So, die waren ja gleich hier vorne. Ja. Okay, was können wir hier tun? Ein- und ausschalten. Ja, dann dürfte er nicht lange damit beschäftigt sein, wenn er einfach nur ausgeschaltet ist. Aber machen wir das mal. Kann ich noch irgendetwas tun? Dort. Access Abschirmblech, ja. Hm. Aber wir haben hier ein Multitool. Okay, den Riemen. Looks like that belt's driving the uh, what you call it? Um. Ja, der Riemen treibt das Denksbums an. <lacht> Yep. There, that should do it. Fucking Danny, where do you find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Oh, son of a fuck. Und er wundert sich nicht, dass auf einmal der Riem fehlt. Ah, naja, gut für uns. Dann lassen wir ihn mal seine Arbeit tun. Und schleichen uns in die Hintertür. Okay, dann ganz sneaky das Schloss entfernen. Mom, Dad, Dinner Time! It's Dinner Time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. Dann wollen wir mal. Okay, Schraube 1 entfernen. Nummer 2. Nummer 3. Und Nummer 4. Wow, ich kann bis 4 zählen. Schon mal nicht schlecht. Boy, didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. Was zum Teufel ist das? What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Nichts, worüber man sich Sorgen machen muss. Okay, und warum haben sie das denn abgeschlossen? 
Oh, 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 Brenda, Biscuits. you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Ja, Mutti. Okay, wir wurden also schon mal erwischt, was nicht unbedingt sehr gut ist. Zweitens, der zerlegt da hinten nur Tiere. Hat aber vorher gesagt, dass da nur Werkzeuge drin sind. Gut, Häutungswerkzeuge sind auch Werkzeuge, aber alles ein bisschen sehr komisch. Dann schauen wir uns mal das Foto von Brenda an. Das muss be Terry. Mhm, okay. Ist hier irgendwas? Nein. Ah, da war irgendwas. Kratzer. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Okay. Und ein Kabel, was die Treppe hinaufführt, okay. Medizinschrank. Rasierschaum. I could use a shave. Uh, ja. Kiste. Mullbinden, okay. Machen wir das mal wieder zu. Ist hier noch irgendetwas? Nein. Dann gehen wir mal hoch. Knarzende Treppen ist immer sehr schön, wenn man ungehört irgendwo hinauf will. Das Kabel geht da rein. Schranktür. Was haben wir hier? Morphium. Ja, gute Frage. Kerzenschachtel. Handtuch. Medikamente. Ich glaube, jemand brauchte ein paar erste Hilfe gerade mal. Was ist das Stuff? Es sieht wie ein paar medical Waste in hier. IV-Tubes, Saline. Was würden Dairy-Farmer mit diesem Kind von Stuff brauchen? Hm, Stromkabel. Hm, was ist das Kord? Sollten wir das zusammenstecken, auch wenn wir nicht wissen, wo es hinführt? Schlafzimmertür. Okay, das war alles. Bücherregal, das schauen wir uns gleich an. Was haben wir hier? Bett. Ja, stimmt. Gute Frage. Flecken. Is that blood? Sieht auf jeden Fall so aus. Farm books, cookbooks. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay, eine Tür hinter dem Regal. Dann gehen wir mal rein. Ach du Scheiße. Lee. Mark. What the hell 
happen? Brothers. The hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> Ach du Scheiße. Lauf schon. Don't eat that. Huh? Lee, Jesus man, did you find something? Ah, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. Lark is upstairs with his fucking legs cut off. You're eating him. That's crazy. What the hell? You're scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. It's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black. Put fuck. your guns down. We're walking you out of here. Near my fucking Mommy, family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Somebody do something. Lee? Lee? Ah! Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Did God damn it! If you hadn't dragged your feet, come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Alles in Ordnung mit dir, Clementine? You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up, Lee. Those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker. We gotta get the fuck out of here. This goddamn thumb sucker was the one who brought us here. Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. Ach du Scheiße. Halt doch mal die Klappe. Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah, I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You refused to give me my day's rations back at the motor lodge. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. 
You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! I'm not your enemy, Larry. I don't believe you. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Come on, try us out. Your dad's not making things any easier for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! There's more of us on the way! Okay. Your dad's not making things any yeah, easier mission. for us. Open the fucking Dad, door! Dad, stop! God damn it! They're not gonna open the door! You, you they got caught you, Duck Lee! Those fuckers have right my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them. Dad, this isn't helping! Don't give up. We're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. I'll, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, Easy! Uh, oh, God. Dad? Oh, that's not... Breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead. Somebody help me. Fuck. If he's dead. He's not dead. What has to happen, Lee? Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're going to be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, 300 pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you. We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later. But right now, we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He is not dead! Lily can ihn immer noch retten. Lily ich hoffe. Can still save him. I wish she could. Believe me, I do. But that man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. God damn it, Lee, I need you! Please help me! Come on, Dad. Come on. Oh, scheiße, wir versuchen es. Is he breathing at all? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. What? You're putting all of us at risk, you son of a bitch. Free. You're fucking forceless, Lee. Fuck. Uh. No! <laughs> Kenny, I'm sorry. what the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just. It had to be done. You don't know that. Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me. Are you okay? Is it over? Yeah, for the moment. Yes, for now. But we still need to find a way out of here. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Dein walkie-talkie. How about your walkie-talkie? Those pretend talks with your mom and dad. Don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Meine Güte, das war ja eine echt brisante Folge, kann man sagen. Also erstmal haben wir herausgefunden, dass Mark die Beine abgehakt wurden, dass uns zum Essen vorgelegt wurde, sozusagen. Ja, Larry ist verstorben. Stellt sich die Frage, ob wir ihn hätten retten können. Ich weiß es nicht. Ja, also ich würde sagen, das war's auch schon für diese Folge. 
und wir sehen uns in der nächsten Folge wieder. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.